Hello students, in this video we'll give a characterization of Riemann integrability and give an example of showing that a function is Riemann integrable. Recall, a bounded function f is Riemann integrable if Lf is equal to Uf, and when these two quantities are equal, we write this symbol. We write the integral from a to b of f of x dx. And of course, what is Lf and Uf? So here, Lf, Lf is the supremum over all partitions of Lfp. And of course, what are these LFPs? This is really just the supremum over all partitions P of the sum, J goes from one to N, of the infimum of the function over the interval xj minus one to xj of the function times xj minus xj minus one, okay? And likewise, the L UFP is just the infimum of all the upper sums. So the UFP is just the infimum over all P of the UFP. And we get the same expression over here with infimum replaced with supremum. And so we'd like to, st we'd like to prove the following theorem now. And the theorem we're going to prove is this. We're going to prove proposition. So f is integrable, Riemann integrable, if and only if what? If and only if for every epsilon there is a p epsilon partition, partition, P epsilon with what? Such that U F P epsilon minus what? L F P epsilon is less than epsilon. Okay? So let's prove this proposition. So one direction the proof is, is obvious, right? So how we would prove something like this? Proof if for every epsilon, there is a partition, p epsilon. Then, I know that uf minus lf, well remember that uf is the what? uf is the infimum, so I can make this expression over uf larger by replacing it with this ufp, so ufp epsilon. And remember, LF is the supremum, so I can make this whole thing bigger by subtracting off a smaller quantity. In particular, I can subtract off the smaller quantity, LF P epsilon. LF P epsilon. And by assumption, that's less than epsilon for any epsilon. So for every epsilon greater than zero, UF minus LF is less than epsilon. And this implies that LF is equal to UF. And that implies that you're Riemann integrable. Great, okay, so if, that, if one direction is obvious, how do we prove the second direction? Let's assume that for every, let's assume that f is integrable, now assume that f is integrable, i.e. what? i.e. lf is equal to uf, okay? Let epsilon be greater than zero, And then what can I do? And then pick partitions, pick partitions, P epsilon and Q epsilon, such that what? Such that two things are true. The first thing I'd like to be true is that, remember that the UF is the infimum, so what can you do with the, with the, with the infimum approximation, such that by soup and inf approximation, What you can do is if you subtract off something from the soup over here, so remember the LF is the soup, so if I subtract off something from the soup, so if I have LF, LF, that's the supremum, right? Minus, say, epsilon over two. I can find something that's bigger than that, so I can say that would be less than LF of maybe this P epsilon, okay? And likewise, by, by infimum approximation, if you do what? If you take the infimum, which is what? The infimum, which is uh, uf, so uf, that's the infimum, and I add on something to the infimum, 
then that can be what? Then that can be the Ethereum plus something is always bigger than what? It's always bigger than some other choice. So that'd be maybe a U of F and Q epsilon. And then I'm going to let, um, I'm going to consider now, consider P epsilon tilde, which is P epsilon union Q epsilon. And so clearly by this definition, P epsilon is, a, is finer than both P epsilon and Q epsilon. So P epsilon tilde is finer than Q epsilon and P epsilon, trivially, because it's the union of those two things. And so now what can I do? So now let me consider, let me consider U F P epsilon tilde minus L F P epsilon tilde, okay? I can make this bigger how? How can I make this whole thing over here bigger? Well, I can make this whole thing over here bigger. I make these, remember that this, this is a finer thing, so the upper sum is what? The upper sum is bigger when you choose a coarser, a less fine partition. So I can make this bigger by replacing this with U, F, Q, Epsilon, because that's a more crude estimate of the upper sum, so it's gonna become bigger, right? And I can shoot, I can make this thing over here, so I can make I can make L, F, P, Epsilon tilde smaller by choosing another coarser thing, right? So I'm gonna replace that with what? With L, F, P, Epsilon, because the finer partition is, the lower sum gets bigger, so I'll subtract off a smaller thing. So I'm gonna subtract off a smaller thing, which is L, F of P, Epsilon, okay? Now, what can I replace this U, F, Q, Epsilon with, I can replace that with what? This is less than U, F, plus Epsilon over two. And what can I replace L, F, P, Epsilon with? Well, I can replace that with this thing over here with a negative sign, right? Because negative L, F, P, Epsilon is less than the negative of L, F, plus Epsilon over two. So I can replace that with negative L, F, plus epsilon over two to make that whole thing larger still. Now by assumption, LF is equal to UF, so UF is equal to LF, so those terms are gonna cancel out, and you get that this is less than epsilon, so I've just constructed a partition for any epsilon greater than zero. I constructed a partition P epsilon tilde, such that UF P epsilon tilde minus LF P epsilon tilde is less than epsilon, and that proves that this is an equivalent notion of integrability. So F is Riemann integrable if and only if for every epsilon greater than zero there exists a partition that depends on epsilon, such that UF P epsilon epsilon minus LFP epsilon is less than epsilon, and this will be one of our criterion that we use to prove that certain classes of functions are Riemann integrable in future videos. Thank you very much.